Hey, I'm Ray Calavis the second. Doing um another episode in my series of cigar reviews. Um today's cigar, um like the last review I did on the Atteco Light Brown label comes from my collection of cigars. The previous three or four before the uh, review of the Tatawahe Brown Label um, came from um, cigars I acquired through a local Baltimore City tobacconist. Uh, great cigars, though. Um, today is uh, Saturday. Um, happy weekend, everybody. Um, hope, you all, hope you are all enjoying this weekend. It's um, Saturday, October 6, 2018. It's officially the fall. Um, is it the fall of man? I don't know. Because, like, you know, Brett Kavanaugh was confirmed um, to the Supreme Court this morning. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to say too much about it. I said a lot about it um, in my last review for the Tattoo White Brown label. It's just that, you know, um, to me, I mean, what, it, what, what, what all these proceedings with the Supreme, the Supreme Court um, confirmation hearings... It just showed the Senate, um, they don't vote for what is right or what is wrong. They just vote along the party line. You know, I get it. You know, a lot at stake. You know, they want to put in, like, you know, uh, a right-leaning uh, judge or a Republican judge or whatever into the Supreme Court, which is a lifelong, you know, um, appointment. And, um, you know, and the midterms are coming and they could lose the, the Senate majority and the House majority. I get it, but... I mean, when you let that kind of, like, influence your decision, whether it's right or wrong, to put someone in a lifetime appointment onto the Supreme Court, I mean, and the only reason why you're voting is because you want to vote for your party line, because you're, because you're totally partisan, I mean, it just shows you what, what our representatives in Congress, specifically the Senate, and probably the House, too, you know, they're, they're just, they're, they're, not, they're not looking at what is right or wrong for the people. You know they're not they're not looking for that. They're just looking. They're just they're just voting along the party line, you know. And that's the last I'm going to say about it. Um, that's not what this uh, review is about. So um, anyway, um, but I had to get it out. It's I'm just I, you, sometimes you have to talk about you know the times you live in. You know what I mean? And what I saw was was a Congress, specifically the Senate. You know, um, you know malfunctioning. You know, I mean they they don't work well. They don't work right, anyway, in my opinion. But anyway, let's get straight to it then. Um, today's review um, is on the Ashton product. Um, this is one of my favorites. I mean, I say that a lot about it. Well, actually, a lot of my cigars are my favorites. But this really is one of my favorites. Um, it's a Connecticut Shade um, Connecticut Shade Wrapper cigar. Um, classic Connecticut flavors. Um, coming from from um it's a product from Arturo Fuente but it's not it's not an Arturo Fuente brand product it's a Ashton brand product Ashton contracted Fuente to make um to make their to make their Ashton brand cigars uh, so um so this this is the Connecticut shade um one of the um one of one of the cigars Ashton is known for in terms of the Connecticut shade wrappers I think the most the most popular one is the Ashton Classic. I mean, I think that that's the one that everyone has smoked or most people have smoked already. Um, tonight's review is the uh, Ashton Cabinet. Um, Ashton Cabinet, uh, it, it's, it's a step up from the Ashton Classic. Generally, Ashton Cabinet's like this is about a, um, I want to say it's a Corona Gorda. Uh, it looks to be about, it looks to be about five and a half by uh, 50, 50, 54 ring gauge. You kind of like run into a territory where five and a half inches, is it a Robusto or is it a Corona Gorda? I mean, it's either way, you know, it, 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 they, they kind of like merge there. But, um, Classic Connecticut um, shade wrapper. Um, probably can't really tell too much because um, because uh, 
it's so dark out here. It's like I said, it's around 7:20 in the evening, Eastern Standard Time in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, the uh, the components of this cigar um, is a Connecticut Shade wrapper out of uh, Connecticut. The um, the binder and filler are four to five year old Dominican Dominican tobacco. The wrapper is aged one year longer than the class than the Ashton Classic. So it's it's uh, you know the, the longer you age it, the wrapper or the but the tobacco the longer you age the tobacco, the more expensive it is. Um, so and uh, the better aged age tobacco is generally considered better. So um, that's why this is a, a step up from the Ashton Classic. Similar flavors, but just a step up. Anyway, so that's what we, that's what we will be reviewing for uh, tonight. The Ashton um, Cabinet. Um, pairing it tonight with uh, uh, <laughs> pairing it tonight with some um, water. Um, some. Good old coffee for the evening. Uh, gonna be drinking some good old cold Budweiser. It's about uh, today's October six, but it's still pretty uh, pretty warm out here. I would say it's about like it's not that warm. It's like seventy four degrees, I would imagine. I'll be making some Luna Azul uh, on the rocks with some uh, with the twist of lime. Uh, Luna Azul. Um, Reposado, um, 100% de agave, beautiful, beautiful uh, Luna Azul. All right, so that's the review for tonight. Um, the uh, the Ashton the Ashton uh, the Ashton Classic um, Corona Gorda. Anyway, um, I hope you all have a have a great night out there. I'm having a great night too, and um, I'll catch you. On the flip side. Hey, back again into uh, this segment um, on the um, review for the Ashton Cabinet uh, Corona Gorda. Um, just a little background on Ashton. Um, um, it uh, was founded um, by Robert Levin um, in 1985. Um, out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, he uh, he contracted um, Arturo Fuente Isia or A Fuente Isia to produce his brand of cigars. The first brand that he made was the Ashton Classic, and then a few years later, um, Ashton Cabinet and Ashton Maduro were um, were introduced. Um, it was '85, so he was there through the cigar boom of the '90s. Um, eventually, he added on um, San Cristobal and also um, the Aroma de Cuba, um, other contract brands. But this time through um, through Jose Pepin Garcia of um, Don Pepin Garcia Cigars at the time, which turned into My Father um, Cigars. So My Father now um, um, produces everything from um, for the San Cristobal. And um, the Lower Roma de Cuba, out of the My Father uh, Cigar Manufacturing Company, um, out of uh, out of uh, Nicaragua. So he he it's it's, it's a um, Ashton Ashton focuses on quality um, and also luxury. Um, they want to produce one of the finest. Products, including cigars, um, they're sort of uh, very similar to Davidoff um, and even Dunhill. So I'm going to go ahead and um, clip this cigar, the um, Ashton um, Cabinet Corona Gorda. This should be good. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and toast the foot. Big lane. Oh. 
Like I said, this is a, um, a Connecticut shade wrapper around Dominican um, binder and filler. Um, what I remember of this cigar is that it gives like classic, um, classic uh, Connecticut um, kind of Connecticut shade kind of um, flavor. So. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and toast the edge of the foot like I usually do. Um, this is gonna be good. I haven't had one of these, um, these, uh, these uh, Ashton cabinets probably in a year, I guess. It's been a while. I have so many cigars that it's hard to get to all of them and everything. And um, I know I love this cigar. Um, hmm. hmm, very sweet, um, the uh, clipped head of the foot. So here it goes. Very classic, um, Connecticut shade flavors right now. A little bit of custard there, um, a little bit of bready. Kind of like um, bread pudding without the cinnamon. Very delicious. Um, some cedar. Um, some pepper. I love Ashton classics. I mean, I mean Ashton uh, Ca Ashton cabinets. Um, you know, uh, they do they do remind me of Davidoff a lot. Um, especially the the, the Connecticut um, Davidoffs or whatever, but. Uh, Ooh. That's pretty strong. Um, that's really good. I've tasted some power there. Um, some cedar, uh, some leather, some not leather, uh, some tobacco. Um, that's nice. There is a lot of really good tobacco spice going on right now. Some really good tobacco flavor. I mean, it's just straight delicious. I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna pair this with the old um, Budweiser. Yeah, Mr. Levin. Um, you know, very successful tobacco businessman. Uh, I, I believe before that he established uh, the Ashton brand cigars, he was a uh, Tobacco. He was a tobacconist. He owned a tobacco store. I think it's Holtz Tobacco in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And then he decided to um, to get into like to the cigar business. You know, as a primary manufacturer, not a primary manufacturer, but a, but uh, as a primary part of his business. So uh, in 1985, he contracted uh, Arturo. Arturo Fuente Isia out of the Dominican Republic to start producing cigars for him under the Ashton brand. So Ashton is based out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Robert Levin is a very well respected um, businessman in the cigar industry. I'm getting like a sort of sort of like a tobacco toast, like toast, like like bread toast with like tobacco like sp <laughs> spread on the toast and burnt. <laughs> and it tastes great though. There's a little sweetness to this too, which is wonderful. Wonderful. Just enjoying this night. Um, hoping to um, just strengthen my hope in humanity. That uh, at some point in time we'll all be able to like, you know, make decisions that are human. You know what I mean? Not, you know, 
I, I just lost my hope, my faith in humanity, I think, you know. You know, when people start making decisions, you know, not on, not on whether what, what's right or wrong, but on, like, you know, you know, on, 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 on more selfish reasons than, you know, not on what's right or wrong, but on, like, I don't know. It, it it just it just it just, it it kind of takes away my faith in humanity, you know. Seeing what's going on in this world too, I don't know. But um, and that's a direct reference to um, what's going on in the political environment in America. The total whole political environment that's going on in America. Not just Supreme Court justice hearings, which are over, by, which are over now. So I'm just waiting for humanity to step up and and, and kind of like accept what's right and wrong, and then act on what is right. That's what I'm waiting for. That's how I live my life. I see what's right. I see what's wrong. I choose right. You know what I mean? That's the box I check. The whatever is right, and that's what I do. I want to see that in humanity, man. Especially in this political environment in the United States of America. Drinking a Budweiser. Know what I mean? I mean, that's not coincidental. You know what I mean? That I'm drinking a Budweiser. To me, this is the greatest American beer. King of beers. Made in America. I mean, if America is like this, I mean, I, I wonder what the rest of the world is like. You know what I mean? Because I'm Filipino American. And they got some kind of... I mean, if you know anything about Philippine politics and who the president of the Philippines is... I mean, I'm telling you, if this is the way it is in America, I'd hate to see what it's like the rest of the world. Delicious, though. I'm glad I'm smoking this, this cigar, though. Great cigar. Man, I can't, I can't get a hold of this cigar. I'm tasting, there's definitely cedar. A really good, strong tobacco flavor. This is the, the draw is perfect. The burn is perfect. As you can tell, the burn is basically per. The burn is basically perfect. You know, and I haven't touched it up once. Um, the draw is perfect. Um, you know, um, I, I, you know, um, I won't say that this is more like as as elegant. As a Davidoff, like you know, a Davidoff, like white label or whatever, not a, not a black label. I don't think black labels are as, as elegant as the white labels. I think the black labels have more flavor, but I think the white labels are very flavorful in themselves, but just more elegant. And this is more in the vein of the white label Davidoff. They're not the same. They're very similar. Um. I don't know. I mean, they, I mean, like, I mean, my last review with, um, not my last review, but my review for the, uh, for the, who was it? Uh, it was Davidoff and Dunhill. And I said that they both kind of like ran in the same circles. They, they kind of like all, they did business within the same circles of luxury and elegance and wealth. And Ashton is very similar to that, even though it's not a European um, company. But Ashton exudes that kind of like persona. Um, so, and Ashton Cabinet is probably their most elegant cigar. So, other than the other than the um, classic, but getting pepper, um, rich tobacco flavor, um, cedar. Just delicious. Um, so we're into the first third here, um, into the Ashton cabinet. Um, 
Corona Gorda. I would say this, this I, like I said, this cigar came out of my personal collection. I want to say this cigar is about like two or three years old. So it's got some age on it. I mean, it tastes strong as ever, but um, it tastes fresh right out of the box. But um, so that's where we are. Um, so we're going to head into the break. Um, and we're going to go ahead and like um, drink this uh, Luna Azul um, on the rocks with a, a couple of twists of lime. And, um, you know, I just want to say that people need to be strong. And, and, and that's all. You know what I mean? People need to be strong. And, um, that's all. And I'm going to take a break, and I'll be right back. Ciao. Hey. Back again into the uh, second portion of this uh, cigar review for the um, Ashton Cabinet um, Corona Gorda. Um, this cigar is catching me by surprise. I had, like I said, I hadn't smoked this cigar in about a year, and um, it's catching me by surprise. I don't remember it being like this, with the flavors and everything. Um, you know, first of all, the construction is per the construction has been perfect. Full draw, um, full of a lot of smoke. Haven't had to touch it up once. I mean, the the, the burn line is just perfect. Um, it it's really got a great. Uh, never had to touch it up once. It's got a very good burn line. Um, what's catching me by surprise is that. This is a full body, full flavor, full strength cigar. And I emphasize strength. There's a lot of strength to this cigar. Um, you wouldn't expect it from such a blonde cabinet. But, I mean, blonde, um, blonde Connecticut. Connecticut shade. Um, but, um, it's, it's, a, it, it's, it's just full body, full flavor, full, emphasizing full body, full flavor, and full strength. Um, a lot of spice on this cigar. A lot of spice. A lot of tobacco spice. Um, rich tobacco flavor. Pepper. Um, in a way, this reminds me of the um, the classic Davidoff flavors. Um, I want to say that this cigar probably has more flavor than a than a classic blonde Davidoff Connecticut white label. More flavor, but less refined. Um, a little bit less refined. I mean, it's, ref it's it is refined. Like, let's say it's more refined than say even a, a Romeo and Julieta, uh, which shares some si similar characteristics to this cigar. Um, I want to say it's probably even as refined as maybe as an Opus. Um, um, neither of them are as re as refined as the um, Davidoff. But um, yeah, so. Davidoff like flavors, but um, more more flavorful, but less a little bit less refined, and that's how I characterize this right now. But I'm telling you, I'm just telling you, man. Hmm. Spice. Rich tobacco flavor, pepper. I mean, it, it, this is a beautiful, beautiful cigar. Um, right now, smoking like a five star, like the star it is. Um, man, I, I, like I said, I probably haven't smoked one of these in about a year. Um, I have so many different kinds of cigars that you know, you know, it's kind of like my brain gets kind of like bombarded by all these like you know experiences with other cigars that you forget the gems that that might be hiding in your own collection I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about if you have your own collection of cigars um, just loving this experience right now just a uh, rich tobacco flavor spice pepper it's wonderful
full body, full strength, full flavor. Tobacco, cedar, pepper, spice, and a, and a full body. Full body, full strength, just amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and pair this with um, some Lunas on the rocks with uh, with a squeeze of lime. Um, I'm right-handed. Some of the ice melted um, during the shoot of this um, review, so it's kind of like water and ice and um, Luna Azul. Ooh, very tequila-y. That's nice. Luna Azul uh, tequila, some lime, some ice, maybe some water. Really good. Goes well with the cigar. I know, I know. I always say that, you know, uh, whatever libation I'm drinking, I always say it goes good with the cigar, but it does. You know, I mean, that's why you pair like alcoholic beverages or whatever beverage you want with cigars. It usually goes pretty well. There's some citrusy notes, um, and um, you know the tequila taste. Um, in this drink that goes well with the cedar and the tobacco and the spice and the pepper in the um, Ashton. Mmm, that is really good. I've never ordered this in a bar. Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I'll try doing that. Very nice. I'm just thoroughly enjoying this cigar. Like I said, I haven't had a touch of one, so construction is in like A+. Plus. The draw is a great draw, um, and, the, and the burn line is just, haven't had a touch of ones. it's great. <laughs> wow, peppery, spicy. Um... Rich tobacco flavor, cedar. I mean, you can't ask for more from a Connecticut than this. I mean, you know, I think I've said this before. Like my favorite um, cigar profile is Connecticut or Rosado, Colorado. I prefer that over like Naturals, Dark Naturals, uh, Habanos, and Maduros. Um, you know, it's just lighter on the palate, and. Um, I, I find that a lot of times, like naturals and dark naturals, habanos and um, and maduros, they, they they tend to fatigue my palate, and um, so I prefer the natural, you know, the naturals, but the um, the Connecticut's and the um, Rosado slash Colorados. So, um, so. Hmm. so it's so peppery and spicy. It's, it's getting really peppery right now. So here we are into the um, second, third, midway point of this um, Ashton Cabinet uh, Corona Gorda. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to head into the, the last break of this um, review into the final segment. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Today is Saturday, October 6, 2018. Um, you know, I, I wish everyone well out there. Um, 
if you've seen my reviews, that's how I usually end my reviews. I wish everyone well out there. Um, and I hope you all have a great weekend. And I'll catch you on the seaside. Hey, back again to the final segment. Side C <laughs> of the uh, review for the um, Ashton Cabinet Corona Gorda. Um, that's a wonderful smug right now. Um, like I said earlier in the review, the uh, binder and filler of this Ashton um, is aged by Ashton four to five years. Um, the Dominican tobacco um, in the binder and filler is aged four to five years. And the uh, the wrapper, which is Connecticut shade, out of Connecticut, is aged at least two years. So before the cigar is even released, this Tibet, this Ashton cabinet is aged, you know, a lot. You know, four to five years for the binder and filler, and two years for the wrapper. Very full of very aged tobacco. This particular sample came out of my collection. is is about three years old. So you're talking about. Up to eight years of age for the um, binder and filler, and um, five, five years for the uh, wrapper. So it's a very aged cigar. I'm telling you, the body, the flavor, and the strength of the cigar is just ping in the meter. Very, very powerful cigar. I mean, like you wouldn't expect that. I don't remember, you know, the cabinet being like this. Um, but uh, like I said, this is a three-year-old cigar, so. Just wonderful tobacco flavor. I mean, the, what I was getting on the break was um, spicy tobacco, uh, pepper, um, sweet bread came in. Um, it was in there, kind of like in and out on the sweet bread. Um, very reminiscent of a Davidoff white label. Um, maybe not as refined and elegant as a Davidoff, but possibly more powerful than a Davidoff white label so um, if you like Davidoff white labels I suggest you pick up a Ashton cabinet and you know try it I mean and and, and maybe age, age, age one or two or three or whatever how many you want to um, my my um my uh, results for aging this at least three years is just like stellar um, but like I said right now it's smoking like a five star so Yeah, just power, spice, pepper. Um, really good tobacco flavor. Like the tobacco isn't like a dark tobacco. It's, I think there's cedar in this, and the cedar is kind of like, like um, making the tobacco not a dark tobacco flavor, but a rich tobacco flavor. Um, not dark tobacco flavor like out of like say a habano or dark natural. Um, or Maduro for that matter. There's no coffee in this cigar. No chocolate. Um, just just classic Connecticut flavors. Connecticut, yeah, yeah, classic Connecticut flavors, but stronger. More pronounced. Smoking it with um, a nice tequila with lime. A nice. It's wonderful. I'm just enjoying this cigar. A lot of spice. A lot of spice, pepper, tobacco. I mean, like, this is just like a nice, steady, excellent cigar. You know, it, it didn't hit, hit any medium points or low points. Just a nice, steady excellence. Um, and I'm thinking of picking up a box of these, you know what I mean? Because, like, I only have... I didn't buy a box of these, I think. I, I don't know if I told you about a box, but I did buy a box. I bought 10 of these off the Internet. And... Um, I probably have like two left. 
Oh, I bought it three years ago. So I'm, probably, I'm, I'm thinking about buying a box of these. These aren't that expensive. I mean, they're probably about $10 a cigar, I guess. But um, depending on where, which tobacco industry you go to, I mean, these could run. Like a Corona Gorda Ashton Cab, and they might run $12, $14 at a tobacco industry or B&M. Uh, you might be able to find um, Ashton Cabinet, uh, uh, Corona, I mean Corona Gordas or Toros, probably maybe for $10, 8 to $10, I guess. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about buying a box. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. <sighs> Wonderful. Tobacco, picking up charcoal. Charcoal is just recent. Um, pepper, a lot of pepper, spice. Just wonderful. Anyway, I hope you guys are all enjoying your weekend out there. Um, like I said, today is October 6, 2018. Around 8, quarter after 8 in the evening. Probably going to head out. Um, hook up with some friends. And, and um, Maybe go to a bar or hang out somewhere at a, at a house or, you know, at a restaurant or something. But um, most likely go to a bar. But I'm hoping you guys are enjoying your weekend out there. Um, I, 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 can't, I can't recommend this cigar highly enough. I mean, like, this cigar is just blowing my mind. Um, I don't remember Ashton Cabinets being this good. And that's no disparagement to the Ashton Cabinet cigars. But this is the best Ashton cabinet I've smoked in my life. I mean, this is just an existential experience. Charcoal, spice, pepper, tobacco. Man, I'm telling you, this, this cigar needs to age a little bit because it's so powerful. I need to age this. I, I only have two left, but two or three left. I probably just two. I gotta hold on to those cigars, man. Age them a little bit more to, to mellow them out a little bit because this is a sort of blowing my mind. Spicy tobacco, spicy tobacco, pepper. Um, anyway, drinking a good old tequila and lime. So I, I think I um, gave you a pretty good. Um, a reasonable um, description of my cigar experience with this Ashton Cabinet Corona Gorda. Um, my recommendation for this, five out of five stars. Um, a, a fuller description is full body, full strength, full flavor, um, spice, heavy spice, heavy pepper, charcoal, just really strong tobacco flavor. The probably one of the best Connecticut's I've ever smoked in my life. Not like I said, I don't remember um, the previous Ashton Cabinets um, taste as well as this. But like I said, I hadn't smoked one in a year, and this one's three years old. So they might be getting better as they get older. Um. So that's my um, description of my experience with this uh, Ashton Cabinet cigar. Um, the last of my uh, tequila and lime, uh, cheers to you. I hope you all have a great weekend out there. Um, be safe. I hope you happiness. Um, cheers. Good life. Just beautiful. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, end this review the way I usually do. You know, um, I just want to say please take care out there, and um, I hope I wish you all good health, good wealth, good fortune.
good friends and family. You all take you all take care out there. Have a great weekend. Until we see until I see you until we meet again, until we see each other again. Take care.